so I'm going to verify my doctor's orders that this patient needs 2 liters on a nasal cannula, which is approximately 28% FiO2. So I'm going to review the chart. Her SpO2 was 90, which is just a little low. So I'm going to gather my nasal cannula and my pulse oximeter. Jones, I'm Anna from Respiratory. Then I'm going to use my hand sanitizer, my three milliliters, and I'm going to rub for 15 seconds or until it's dry. Um, I'm going to put my gloves on. Okay, I'm just going to confirm your name and your date of birth. So you are Paul Jones, and your birthday is 7890. Now I'm just going to put this nasal cannula on you because you came in with shortness of breath. Um, and your oxygen levels are just a little low. Um, is that okay with you? Do you have any questions? Okay, so before I set up your nasal cannula, I'm gonna go ahead and check your vitals. So I'm gonna take your pulse ox, I'm just gonna put this on your finger, and I'm also gonna take your pulse for about a minute. I'm also gonna take his respiratory rate for a minute, but I cannot tell him that because he will change his breathing. Okay, so his pulse came back normal at 88, his SpO2 came back at uh, 90, like the doctor said. His respirations were a little high at 23, um, so it is um, obvious that he is having some trouble breathing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the cannula. Okay, so I'm now gonna hook up my cannula. I'm gonna put it in the flow meter in the wall, and I'm gonna set it to uh, two. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that the oxygen is coming out and there's no kinks in the uh, tubing. So I'm gonna, is it okay if I go ahead and put this on you? Yes, okay. I'm gonna put it in your nose. I'm gonna wrap it around your ears. I'm gonna tighten it up so it's nice and tight. Now if you start to feel dry or you feel um, cold, like your nose is really cold, let me know and I can set up a bubble humidifier and get some humidity going, okay? Okay. So are you feeling okay? Are you comfortable? Yep. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so now that you have been having your therapy for a while, I'm going to go ahead and put on the pulse ox to see how well it's doing. I'm also going to take your pulse. Okay, so your pulse ox did increase up to 96, which is really good, and your pulse um, did come, it's still normal, and your respirations came down a little bit, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and decontaminate, throw my gloves away. So I'm just going to sanitize my hands again for about 15 seconds. I'm going to record the, the data on his chart that uh, the therapy worked and his SpO2 came back up to 96 and I'm going to go ahead and go tell the doctor. Okay, so the indication for this procedure to give them oxygen therapy was that his um, saturations were too low at around 90. Um, other indications for oxygen therapy would be hypoxemia, um, cyanosis, um, and some complications with COPD patients is that if you give them too much oxygen, it can like flush out their hypoxic drive, which would make them stop breathing on their own. And the difference between high and low flow is that um, high flow is more accurate and low flow is more comfortable for the patient and according to their breathing, it's more um, non-accurate FiO2. Um, so the liters would be one liter is 24%, Two liters is 28%, three is 32%, four liters is 36%, five is 40%, and six liters is 44%.